and welcome back everyone and today we are going to be replacing this man's body with technology to protect him from what we're going to do you may ask why not just not throw things at him in the first place that ruins the whole point how else do we perform science and don't worry particles can't feel even though you're made of particles and you can feel we're, we're just ignoring that you know how, like, Wolverine, you know, had, like, metal injected into his body? I, I heard that process was completely unpainful to him, so hopefully our person here just does not mind that I am going to literally inject their bones with steel. I mean, it's for their safety, so they can't possibly care. I'm gonna put a metal bar through all of their, <laughs> through all of their spinal columns. Kind of like what you would do uh, if you had scoliosis. Just I'm not a licensed doctor. That's that's the only difference. I I should be a licensed doctor. I mean, look at my beautiful work. Surely someone should license me. And I want this to wrap around his body. We're gonna make a a set of ribs around his abdomen. That's not really how the ribcage works, but uh, it's going to be how this man's ribcage works now. He has extra ribs. The point of these is to prevent him from crushing inwards. Ignore the fact that I am technically splitting his heart and stuff in half. You're just going to have to imagine that this is three-dimensional and this is in front. And we're going to have these these beautiful metal bars even go around his neck. Because I want his neck to not break easily. There we go. Okay. Now that we have created him a beautiful shell, uh, we're going to have to also give him subdermal titanium implants on his front. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now his femur is going to be so, so chonky. Just a massive titanium rod all the way through. Boom. Do doing my best here. This bone's just gonna be completely replaced. Too thin. All right. We're gonna give him steel toes. Why wear a steel toe boot when you can just have steel toes? All right. Now he can really kick butt. I mean, he should be an absolute chad after this. Need to make sure that his nose is stronger. People break their noses very easily. Gotta give him that chad chad chin as well so he can stab people with his chin reinforces windpipe so he can't choke all right make sure that he's got protection around his brain i'm actually going to use uh, a specifically the design we used in that helmet video around his brain to try to absorb as much as much impact force as possible. I want him to survive, okay? We're gonna create a very, very effective, very, very effective defense that should take any, uh, any major amounts of force and distribute it. Distribute it instead of it going into his brain. And I'm just gonna thicken this skull here. I don't want to like make his head bigger, but I'm definitely going to make some tweaks here. Here we go. All right. We have now protected his head and we're going to do the same thing just with smaller, smaller holes to absorb impact force. Hopefully two layers of this is going to be enough to absorb the shock. All right, we have the the Ultra Chad, the Ultra Chad Cyborg. 
I've, I've done my absolute best. And now it is time to see what he can handle. I mean, right off the bat, I'm gonna throw something at his head. That's probably the, the, the thing we're all curious about because that's the test I keep repeatedly doing on things. I do expect some shock to hit his brain, but hopefully nothing like permanently damaged. Oh, whoops, whoops. All right, steel ball. You are going to impact this man's head. Will he, oh, I did it again. <laughs> I want to switch to the move tool. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's see if our cyborg man is better off. We have impact. It definitely deformed his brain a tiny bit, but no, it doesn't look like any permanent damage to the skull. And it doesn't even look like any permanent damage. I mean, obviously in real life, if your brain got squished like that, it would be bad. But considering the game... That was far less damage than he's taken before. All right, let's see what happens if we throw it at his rib cage. Do do do. I'm really expecting nothing. Oh yeah, look at how well he took that. No damage to the heart. No damage to really. Okay, this this I think I just didn't put together well. So let's see if I can fix this. Yeah, connect that. Very nice. All right, I have made a card to test against this beautiful android. We are going to see what happens. Will his new metal skeleton be enough to prevent him from literally ripping into three pieces this time? I, I know the car is a little small compared to him, but I ran out of particles, so I, I couldn't make it larger than this anyway. At least it looks better than the last car I made, okay? It looks, it looks better. <laughs> We're at least going in the correct direction. So I have this set to slow-mo, and uh, we're going to see what happens. Will he survive? Will he die? Will his legs literally just get ripped off? Good questions. Good questions. All right, on impact. No way. Oh my god, his, his leg is taking so much of the force. No way. Are you serious? If you watched the previous video where this guy got ripped into three pieces, you you probably just literally audibly gasped. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no damage. No way. Okay, we need we need to increase the max velocity. We need to get this car moving a little bit faster. Let's turn it up to 600 and do this again. Oh my goodness. And we're going to have it hit him straight in the chest. This is such a massive car. I mean, it's it's not realistically sized. It's a little small compared to a real car. But, like, look how thick the metal is on this. It just bounced off of him. It literally just... Okay. That was a little bit more... Oh... Okay. It ripped his face off. But his actual body... His actual body... Ignoring the fact that his head just fell off. His actual body is actually staying together. It's kind of stuck in the car. Um, but it didn't rip apart. His femur didn't break either. I mean, yes, his, his head kind of exploded. I, I should have I put some structural braces in his head so that wouldn't happen. Oh, man. Okay, I actually want to see what happens if it hits his chest when it's not uh, double speed. It seems like increasing the maximum velocity just makes things a little unstable things start just merging into each other but let's see if i do this all right this is gonna hit more of his body than his leg i want to see what happens is it is it just going to stop is it just gonna stop the car it's so funny it's so funny, it literally just stopped. Okay, no, we got we got impact. Definitely a lot of force is being transferred into his body. His spine is bouncing around. A few of these metal braces are actually breaking inside of his body, but his, his spine hasn't snapped. His, his face is doing the same thing again. This needs a stronger brace. 
So it broke his neck. Oh, and it snapped his femur. It did. Okay, but what you're going to notice is his actual body is not in terrible shape. Like, his his organs are not terrible. Okay, other, other than his head ripping off. But let's fix the head ripping off problem. That should be really easy to fix. I'm a doctor. I know my head's ripping off. <sighs> we gotta do a restart because I ran out of VRAM. No worries, though. It'll only take a moment. I'm very excited. I'm very excited about this. It actually worked way better than I thought it would. I thought he was doomed. I thought he was doomed. But the cyborg, the cyborg seems to actually, yeah, it's because there's nothing actually connecting his head together here. And he's got this big hole where his windpipe is. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to, wait, why isn't it drawing? I can draw, right? Okay. There we go. Oh, it's because I don't have change exist on. Hopefully I have enough particles available to finish this up. All right. Oh, here we go, here we go, all right. Get, get turn his palate into steel, <clears throat> literally a little bit more support around the tongue and then I'm going to build a bar that goes around like this two of them to hold his face on there we go absolute chad some miniature supports just to kind of displace the force there is a lot of force in his face when it gets whipped around all right and then I'll also brace his chin a little bit his beautiful chin all right I think, I think that should be better. I think this is going to avoid the face getting ripped off issue. I'm also going to create a bar that goes through kind of the brain stem here. Oh, that, that came out really bad. Let's redo that. Oh no, his brain is leaking out. Oop. Just pretend the, 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 the spinal fluid is behind this, okay? It's fine, it's just going through it. I also wanna brace his brain, but I feel like that's cheating. So we'll just leave it at this for now. This beautiful, beautiful cyborg man, he is going to survive, hopefully. All right, let's see if this made a difference. All right, we are going to impact the general same area. And uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens here. Why isn't it letting me change my brush? I, there we go. <laughs> okay, impact in five, four, three, two, one. And... We have impact. There it goes. The supports inside of him are trying so hard. No way. Okay. Okay. His body's rebounding off of it. The shockwave is moving through him. We have damage to the leg. Yeah, the femur broke. Okay, but his chin. No, it's still tearing. It's still tearing. Is something in his head pinned? But his, his spine hasn't snapped. His spine hasn't snapped. He's not dead. I mean, yeah, it, it tore it tore his neck, but oh, 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 okay. His his intestines and stuff definitely, uh, okay, bad. It's it's definitely bad. It's definitely not great. Not 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 fantastic, but 
It could have been worse. It definitely could have been. I should have saved. I should have saved this after doing that. Hmm. All right. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm not even gonna change the simulation. But before we end the video, this guy's biggest enemy is probably now going to be a magnet. I'm gonna try putting a magnet down, and we're gonna see what happens. Uh, where's the physics? Here we go. Magnet. All right, and let's increase the power of the magnet. I mean, a magnet has got to be this guy's worst fear. His body is like 90. Oh, yeah! Wee! <laughs> this is why you don't make your body out of metal. The moment you go into an MRI machine, you just turn into a, a blob. Crunch. Oh man, that's all so fun. Yeah, so definitely turning him into a cyborg improved his survivability by quite a bit. So thumbs up for that. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And I will see you all next time. Peace out.